This video is part of a series regarding the installation and configuration of Microsoft Active Directory. Using Windows Server 2025 Core, we will add a second domain controller to an existing Active Directory domain. These procedures apply to Windows Server 2022 Core and are similar for Windows Server 2019 and 2016 Core. We will cover operating system preparation via PowerShell, promotion to a domain controller, post-domain promotion checks, and a note about Windows Server 2019 and 2016 Core. For basic Windows Server Core installation and promotion of a first domain controller, see these videos. Previously, we used the Server Configuration sconfig utility options to configure the operating system. Here, we will bypass sconfig and fully configure the OS using PowerShell. We choose to do this and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Select option 15 to exit the PowerShell. First, get the network adapters using the get dash net adapter commandlet to ensure you will configure the correct one. Note that the adapter's name is the same as the interface alias. Set the IP address with the new dash net IP address commandlet. Set the DNS servers using set dash DNS client server address commandlet. When configuring a second domain controller, set the first DNS server to the address of the current domain controller and the second DNS to the local loopback 127.0.0.1 since this server will also have the DNS role. Verify settings with ipconfig forward slash all. Add the AD domain services role using the add dash windows feature commandlet. Rename the computer using, well, what else? Rename dash computer. And restart when prompted. Log in following the reboot. Again, select option 15 to exit the PowerShell. First, let's ensure we can resolve the domain name via DNS. Use either NSLOOKUP or the resolve dash DNS name commandlet. Since we're installing a domain controller into an existing domain, we use the install dash ADDS domain controller commandlet. However, since this instance is not a domain member, we must specify the necessary domain credentials for which the get dash credential commandlet prompts us. Enter a strong password for the safe mode administrator password and type Y to continue. By default, without specifying parameters, the new domain controller will be a global catalog, have the DNS role installed, and use the default system root backslash NTDS and system root backslash sysfall paths. As the computer promotes itself to a domain controller, and installs the DNS role, it will reboot when finished. Following the reboot, log in as a domain or enterprise administrator. Since the domain already exists, there are just a couple things to check. Again, select option 15 to exit the PowerShell. Use the get dash ad force commandlet to ensure the new domain controller is listed as a global catalog and use the get dash ad domain commandlet to check if the new DC is listed as a replica directory server. Check whether the pre-configured group policy central store folder policy definitions is present and populated. Windows Server 2025 and 2022 core automatically launch 
the sconfig utility following user login, and PowerShell is the default command interpreter. Windows Server 2019 and 2016, however, defaults to the command prompt following user login, requiring the user to type sconfig to enter the system configuration utility. Since the command prompt is the default environment for Windows Server 2019 and 2016 core, sconfig exits to the command prompt when option 15 is selected. For the PowerShell commands to work, type PowerShell to enter the PowerShell environment. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.